floss. Do they have fat boobies? Our bookkeeper is coming in this morning because Grayson and Jeanette, her name is Jeanette, they exchange papers, document information through paper form. So I tried to explain to her bookkeeper that it would be better to use a digital form. I think she's more old school. I think she likes to have them paper in front of her. Oh, guys, I think I just received my mask. Hold on. I was online the other night on my, on my, saw an ad for a, a charcoal mask for a Wheeler charcoal mask. And it's an N99. So I was like, hey, I need that. We're going to open it after so the idea here is like how are we going to do the exchange without exchanging all the bacteria and virus that comes with it and i can't uh i don't know how like so she's gonna come in she's gonna drop off the stuff you're gonna sign the check and send it back out yeah and i've already washed my hands <laughs> should i like wear the mask so that i don't like breathe onto the well i do have a mask now <laughs> can we can we cook so it can we uh like is there a certain temperature where the virus die like 100 like when you have fever it kills so. all the virus right at 104 so can we put it in the oven for like <laughs> five minutes, ten minutes, something. It's gonna burn the paper. I don't know if it would burn the paper at one o five though. It's not really hot, is it? Like sometimes it's one o five outside, and paper don't don't burn. I think we should Google it at one o five. But like, what's the lowest our oven go? Hey, the lowest it goes is seventy degree. Oh, see, they also look. They also pointed out that the virus is highly sensitive to temperature. They did not say at which point it is going to die. Uh, our oven minimum temperature is 70 degrees Celsius. What do you think? I don't know. I'm like, can you microwave it? Okay, no, viruses are not alive. That's a that's the thing. They're not alive. They're not alive, but they cook. I don't. I think you can only wash them off. Maybe we can uh, steam it. Put the paper over steam. But otherwise, what we're gonna do is maybe we can use Lysol. Can you get rid of viruses on your mail? Uh, oh. Nothing. Uh, too late. I think the papers are here. Well, it's not too late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So she pureled all the paper already. I don't know how, how do you purel paper? Good morning. Did you have a good nap? Mm -hmm. So how do we wash it to give it back to her? All right. So all that I found here is that temperature might kill bacteria. So I think we put them in the oven. I think we tried it. We're going to put the oven that's really, really low. We'll put the paper in there. Two okay. minutes? Let's start with two minutes. <laughs> that might have to be better because the other day I had to give checks to like all our employees and I wiped them with like this like Lysol wipe and they all got all wet and like wrinkled and stuff. So They got home and all the numbers <laughs> were, were gone. So <laughs> What we could do is put two pans on top of each other so it doesn't burn. So it's just going to heat going to get in there. I mean, 70 degree. It does. It gets like 50 degree in Dubai and they can't play soccer last year. So Fahrenheit, what is ago. that? Like a hundred? In Fahrenheit? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's 150 Fahrenheit. So I don't think paper are gonna burn it. Let's try it. If you guys know how to kill the bacteria on paper, except using Lysols and everything, just write it down below there in the comment. Maybe we'll let people know after. Uh, Cause that's one of the things. We're exchanging a lot of paper. You have no choice. Well, we do have choice, but. Our bookkeeper is really old school. But yeah, and I'm just thinking like, I who does the cash handle the money and then touch the receipt and give it to you just before you go eat your food. Now that I, now that I know more about the virus, it seems a little gross. bit uncomfortable. But by law, we're, we have to give the receipt to the customer. So let's try that. Let's put them in the oven. Let's see if it works. We got the pan. Should we just put another thing on top? Like this, in case, just to make sure. All, all the paper caught on fire and then we have to tell it. <coughs> Uh, Jeanette, uh, try to clean them and they're all gone in their ashes. <laughs> she has to come back. She just drove. So then, so then we're going to put this in here. Hope they're not going to burn. Put it in the oven. So long. We're going to start with two minutes see what happened. <gasps> you know what could happen? The paper could turn all brown. I've seen that before, like paper turning brown under heat. Okay. Unless it's instant combustion and it just goes like, boom. Oh, you're higher than 150 grits. What? Yeah. We're 175. That's a little bit high. <sighs> 39 seconds will be at two minutes. Four, three, two. Is it burned? We'll see. The papers are ready. Ooh. Hot? Oh, touch it. Sanitized. We sanitize our document. Da -da -da. Well, it's really hot. Well, not burned. Not burned. So not burned. I'm pretty sure the bacteria are dead. It's a hundred. It was almost 170 to start with the first minute. We dropped it down to 150 for the last minute. Be careful home. Don't do that without the lid. I think with, without the lid, it would have caught on fire. Yeah. That's my own feeling. These documents are clean. You gotta 
feel like if you left them in your car, like in a hot day. Oh, know? crap. Now they're clean, but did you see that? I'm gonna have to redo it, guys. Why? Clean it, you wanna touch them? Touch them. <laughs> now they're dirty again, so let's put them back in there. And then you have to wash your hand before you take them out. Maybe. So that was our test. I think it works. Let us know what temperature is this supposed to die? I mean, are they really dead? Because I don't think we can use Lysol. I don't think so. Okay. 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 So we got the mask. Let's open it. How do I open this without without getting sick though? Let's just wash our hand after, okay? First, what I did is I left it on the floor here. I didn't touch it since it came in. Get out, guys. Wait here. Yep, I got the mask. I don't know if there's size on this. It's called a dust mask. It's a changeable char carbon, filter. carbon filter. I don't know if it comes with the filter. Let's open this up. So this is the mask. These are the filters. Think about it, they're actually washable, so. Wow, look at that guys. Okay, I'm gonna have to wash my hand first. $34.99, and I don't know why there's this little valve here. What is this for? I guess you put the filter inside. Look how cool is that? Like this? Oh, you have to open it. Oh, okay. All right, so you have to open the little thing like this and put it in. I don't even know if you actually need the filter. I don't know, these are more like to protect your face, I feel like, not to touch your face, your own face. See, that's the thing, you cannot rely only on masks and gloves. You gotta be careful what you do with it when you wear them because I really don't know which side I'm supposed to put the this thing in really, guys. It's a it's a very awkward thing here. It doesn't really work well right now. I switch it twice around, it still doesn't fit. All right, I think I found it. I think I found it now. All right, now it's working, so. That's how it goes. So the filter is in, and right, let's try it. Wow, these are cool. Well, it's really hot in here, dude. Is that okay if I still wear that after the coronavirus? Can I still wear it? Give me all the cash. I feel like a Mortal Kombat type of guy. You can feel it's a lot harder to breathe with that thing in, but I, you know what I wonder now? I don't know if you really need these things unless you work in an hospital. I mean, you can just go like this, I guess. And it, look how easy it is to remove. It's just a little thing like this. Like this grip here, very good. See, well, it's not bad. Cause I was afraid that, you know, like ski goggle that gets all foggy. So you can even wear it with glasses, no problem. That's perfect. All right, let's go for coffee now. You know I've been thinking about this story Got that tape of four to save in our names Draw 15 offer to get to your place Right. Grand the pike. Now, now we need to order at the drive-thru at Starbucks. You can't get in anymore, which is a good thing. Well, did they provide you with a mask or you need to buy them? I did myself. Oh, you did with a rag. Looking cool. good. Quite, yeah, kind of that. Yeah. Yeah. Safe. Yeah. Bye, Sheriff. The sheriff, the guy at Starbucks has been working there since the beginning of the crisis. He must be 60 something years old. And I asked him the other day, it's dangerous. So you're going to be sick. Don't work like that, right? But the guy keeps every morning welcoming people with a smile. He's a very happy guy. And he says, you know, it's up to God. That's the way he looked at it. That's up to God. But it's good to have motivation and have a philosophy like this. I personally think he put himself in danger. I don't think he should be doing this. But people like this, they also bring you, it's just like, they bring something. They bring some sort of normality to our world, right? Like they make you think like, well, you know, this guy is doing it. He's like, well, what am I saying? You know, people who are positive is something very interesting and attractive to me. After you touch the phone and, and then handle and then you take off your mask, so you touch your mask, so then you're infecting yourself. It's I'm, I'm very halfway with the mask. I'm not sure. I think it's something you wear when you really, really have to go to a specific place that will have people around you. I don't think it's something you should be wearing when you go to the drive-thru to get a coffee. I'm probably going to refrain from that from now on because I feel like, you know, I've touched my phone. I scanned the thing. Then I went on and, and, and I took off my mask to drink my coffee and take off my mask and then grab my coffee cup. So because I touched my mask, if somebody spit it on it earlier, talked to me and then spit it on it, well, I take it off. 
I go like this and then I take my coffee cup. Then I just transmit the virus to the coffee cup. So I don't know if it really makes sense. I don't know if it's worth really to wear it. I feel like it's more of a thing that I'm going to get sick with. So I'm going to keep it just for time where I go to Walmart, to grocery shopping. I'm going to keep it for places where I really need to know to go. I have no choice and there's a lot of people around. So I think this is what's going to be for me or Grace. Light is green. Let's go. When they serve you your coffee, they hold it like this from the lid and the bottom. I probably told them like, you know, this is how you serve it. It looks more fancy. I don't know what it is. Stop touching touching the lid really stop touching it it cost me a a lies all every morning because I have to wipe up the lid I probably will anyway because people spit all over so yeah just just don't touch the lid that's all yeah that was me realizing that I didn't wash that one this morning I forgot and I just went like because of the mask see it was too busy with the mask forgot to wash my lids of my coffee this morning <sighs> I hate change I really hate change let's go light is green I don't know if it's just me, but like, I feel like I've been sick for the last three weeks. Like, was it always like this? Did I always wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I feel like I'm sick? Or it's just becoming like psycho psychosomatic. I'm telling you, I'm like, I go to bed at night, I'm like, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I am getting sick. Like this morning, I'm going to Starbucks on my way back. I'm like, ooh, I have some pain chest, you know? Like, well, I don't know, is it anxiety? Is it allergy? Is it like, is, am I really sick? I mean, I know there's different kind of cough out there too. Or maybe, you know what I'm thinking too? Is maybe breathing all the dust in the house. We've been in the house for like a month almost now. Maybe it's not good. Maybe you gotta go out a little more. I don't know, just thinking, I don't know what's going on. It's just like, I feel like I'm constantly sick and I'm like, Oh, that's it. I got it. I got the virus. But then nothing happened. And it's been like that for three weeks. So <laughs> I don't know. Let's get in the house. Seriously, can this stop delivering these? I'm so surprised that you were able to find oh this. Oh gosh, I'm stuck in the group. But which is the top, which is the bottom? I feel like it's going to fall down. This is a company that make them. I don't know how it's called. There's no, no, it's the contractor zone, maybe? I, I'll put I'll put a link here uh, if you guys want to order them. Uh, they're made here in Quebec. They probably have a lot because they're advertising it on Instagram and Facebook. When did I order it? Yesterday, yesterday, I think. Yesterday. Yeah, I ordered it yesterday. I received it today. So that's pretty fast. They ship very, very well. So just so you know, I'm not being paid to say that. I, oh, I think like, they're very like cool. It's super comfortable. Yeah, this is nice. Do you feel like a superhero or something? Is that a boy thing when I wear that? <laughs> I'm like, I kind of become like, it's like a costume. I guess we have to. <laughs> is that cool? Is that cool or yeah, what? Yeah, it is very cool. It's like a... S <laughs> Babe, do you need anything at Walmart? I'm uh, going shopping. Let's go. Well, I'm not going like this for real. Let's see. I'm sure like this is totally socially acceptable now. Absolutely not. This is <laughs> over the board. This is not socially acceptable. This is too much. You <laughs> no. can't go out like this, guys. No way. People are going to be so scared. <laughs> that thumbnail time? Oh, yeah. Thumbnail time. All right, guys. So that's it for our episode. Thanks for following us. If you really enjoy our video, Give us a good thumbs up down there, guys. Just press the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I know half of you guys haven't. So now it's time to do it. Go down there, press subscribe and press the little bell thingy. Select all so you're going to get everything, but everything that we do right before everybody else. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, stay strong, be safe and never give up. All right, ciao. What did I say ciao? It sounds so weird. Okay. Yeah, I'm your hero. What I'm, oh, what? what I'm doing? Oh, nothing. Dinner is ready. I'm coming. City nights, I love the sound. It's all good, I'm here now. I'll make evil go sit down. Then I'ma send them underground. Working like 24 7. Tell the villains keep stepping. My presence is a weapon. Yeah, a nice guy with aggression. Where's the minister?